بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين بارئ الخلائق أجمعين الصلاة والسلام على أشرف الأنبياء والمرسلين وخاتم النبيين أبي القاسم المصطفى محمد وأهل بيته الطيبين الطاهرين ولانة الله على أعدائهم أجمعين من الآن إلى قيام يوم الدين أما بعد Respected brothers and sisters, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. We were busy in our chapter of Tahara or purification about Wudu. And we discussed and explained basically method of Wudu and what is compulsory in wuzu today tonight inshallah we will discuss conditions of wuzu also it is very important to know these uh, conditions because without these conditions of wuzu your wuzu is not valid your wudu is not valid, it is null. So, method of how to perform wudu we already explained with the help of some slides which we showed you. Now quickly conditions of wudu. There are some conditions which are related to the person who is making wudu. What is the condition? Number one, that wuzu must be with the intention of pleasure of Allah. If you are making wudu just to clean yourself for hygienic purpose, to wash your face or whatever, that wuzu is not wudu, not valid. Must be with intention of to get close to Allah for the pleasure of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And number two, that water, use of water, consumption of water should not be problematic for the person who is making wudu. What does it mean? means that if someone is scared that if he uses water, he can get sick. Hmm? Somebody who got, for example, some wounds on the parts where wuzu must be taken. Now if he wash them with water, it will be harmful for him. He will get sick or if he is sick he will get worse. In this case of course he is not supposed to take wuzu, he must make tayammum. There are some conditions which are related to the water itself. So these are the two conditions related to the person who is making wuzu. Number one, he must have intention of pleasure of Allah. Number two, water should not be problematic. Consumption of water should not be difficult for him, problematic for him. Now the conditions for the water of wuzu, there are three conditions for the water itself. Number one, water must be pure water, must not be compound water. Now I don't want to repeat, we already explained in the start of our discourse, what is pure water and what is compound water. You cannot make water wuzu with the juice, for example. You cannot make water wuzu with the, for example, a water which is mixed with other things. 
must be with the pure water number 2 that this water must be pak clean you cannot make wuzu with something with some water which is najis number 3 is that water must be mubah or lawful means what that you cannot make wuzu with a water which is not yours or you have no permission to use that water mm, very important there are some places where there is a tap water tap but it is written by the owner of the property or those who pay the uh, water bill this water is not for public consumption or this water is for only particular purpose hmm? for example even in our own masjid right there is a water cooler uh, where water is cool down for drinking it's a drinking water you know cooler for the it's a fountain for the drinking water now the purpose of that drinking water the cooler in that drinking water is to drink and consumption of that water to make wuzu naturally it is batil not allowed not allowed so any place where you go and you want to make wudu you must make with the water which is lawful which is legally allowed for you to be used and consumed then there are some conditions which are related related to parts of the body of wudu two condition simple two conditions number 1 that these body parts wuzu part of bodies in other words should be pak should be clean i hope you are clear what i am saying face to be washed hands from ash to so of your fingers must be washed must be they are in wudu now before you make wudu if there is something najis something impure dirty already on your hand or face on any part of the wudu you must first clean it you must make it pak first then you must make wudu while it is a najis you cannot make wuzu so you have to make them pak make them clean and then you need to make them you know for example pak and sorry make wuzu another very common important condition is that there should not be please listen carefully this is a very common one ha huh? there should not be any obstacles on your body to reach bod water to skin hmm. in other words water must reach to the skin of your face skin of your hands so for example like our ladies if they have this nail polish hmm very common they got this nail polish makeup huh? now if nail polish is there and you want they want to make wuzu sorry wuzu is batil why because that nail polish will not allow water to reach to the skin of the nail to the layer of the nail very important 
very common problem similarly if you use vaseline or cream which is very you know thick and after using the cream or vaseline there is a layer on the you know on your hand on your body now if you wash due to this fat on your body water will not reach to the skin itself now what buzu is batil so first you must make sure to remove that fat or cream or anything like that and then you must make wudu you know for example lot of people use oils it's very common oil creams lotions they use now some of those lotions are they they absorb in the skin and they don't create a layer and in other words it's not a issue that the water cannot reach to the skin due to that lotion but there are some lotions and vaseline for example and things like that no they become like a layer on the top of your skin and naturally then water does not reach to the skin and wudu is batil you have to first clear it wash it by you know liquid or soap or something like that to make sure that it is clean and only then you can make wudu people our brothers who are working like a painters plasterers in building industry for example naturally paint and what you call it cement and concrete or whatever lot of those things it becomes it sits on their hand or part of body naturally their wudu is not valid if they do not remove and clean their hands uh, and everything properly before making wudu so these are the common examples of this particular condition question what about you know hina you know you know what is hina that uh ha huh? the powder which women and men also they used to color their hands or hair and so on if there are different types of colors available you know hair colors or body colors or whatever different types of them are available if the type of henna you using is only color on the skin but it is not creating a layer there ha huh? no barrier then no problem you can make wudu but nowadays they sell this artificial henna which has chemicals and so on to make it very strong color and so on that is a problematic of course then you cannot make wudu with that okay uh, tattoos very common again the same rule applies that if the color of the tattoo became part of the skin then no problem you can make wudu but if it is like something which you if you scratch will come out so it's like a layer and then it's a problematic and you cannot make wudu with it okay now there are some conditions related to method of making wudu what are those conditions number 1 tartib order sequence you must make wudu in this order first wash your face then right hand then left hand then wiping of head then wiping of right foot then wiping of left foot you can't do other way around that's number 1 number 2 is muwalat 
what is mawalat mawalat means they must be done together there must not be a break like you wash the face and you took a 5 minute break in between and now you go wash your hand no have a cup of tea in between a break huh? no you must do it together in ones huh? but okay little bit in between break which is normal understandable no problem but a break where it will look like that you're not doing anything in between you taking a break then it's a problem and number 3 is this important issue is this that you should do it wuzu out of your own means what means without help of anybody not somebody must help you to make wudu like another one person is pouring the water or one is washing your hand you just sitting like that somebody comes and wash your hand wash your face you like sitting like a king huh? no that wudu is also bathil you must do wudu on your own your self question what about sick people what about people who are weak who cannot do on their own can yes you can but he must make intention that you that person who is helping to wash your the person's hand or wiping on his head he is doing on his behalf he is not doing out of his own he is doing on behalf of this person because this person on his own cannot do it due to sickness weakness or whatever the problem is okay so this is another very very important issue in you know in other words even in the situation or case of sick people intention will be the person who is making wuzu for example somebody cannot himself pour water on his face or in his hand or cannot wipe it or things like that so he himself will make intention and niyya and then the other person who is helping will pour the water or wash or wipe on behalf of this person not on his own but on behalf of this person and then the wuzu is of course valid last point very important point condition of the wuzu is this that there should be enough time to make wudu there should be sufficient and enough time to make wudu means what means this that you got up in the fajr late and you realize that if you will go bathroom and make wudu salat will become qada there will be no time for salat now in this case you are supposed to make tayammum because normally tayammum is much more quicker faster than wudu my mom is will explain how them you know that's why time less than 10 15 20 second at the most you can do the tayamm so tayammum is the responsibility there in that case when time is not enough for the wudu you are supposed to make tayammum and not wudu but if tayammum for you in a case is taking the same time like wudu you have to find the dust and sand and this and that uh, end of the day it will be even sometimes longer than making wudu so then in that case you must make wudu not tayammum all right so that is the last issue regarding conditions of wudu inshallah salawat ala muhammad wa ali muhammad If there is any question, I am ready to reply.
ಎಸ್ ಬ್ರದರ್ no you can do condition is that your foot must be stationary shouldn't be moving your hand should be moving when you are wiping not your foot not your head so the way you showed me now if you can manage to keep your foot stable stationary and wipe it by hand no problem but if it is moving and stable then rather put it on a stable place and wipe it huh? yeah yes please abdullah alaikum assalam you are sitting so far away i can't hear you either come closer or please louder huh? so i can hear the question sorry for that yes mm -hmm. masa yes yes right 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 and uh, that's correct yeah. now not this one ha huh? does not exist by us no no does not exist with us and therefore you can if you get a chance you can look at youtube previous part i explain to you how to make wudu ha huh? no okay let me very quickly repeat for you because this is important how in ahlul bayt or shia wudu i am talking about the compulsory one i am not talking about the sunna one compulsory one sunna one is first to wash your hands then goggle then also throw water in the nose and rinse the nose now that is uh, you know mustahab sunna not compulsory not fard what is fard fard is following to wash your face number one how you take water in your hand you wash from the place hair is growing all the way down till here so you make sure that this is washed number 1 of course before that niyat niyat intention that you are making wudu for the pleasure of allah that must be there intention then you take water and you wash your face from the place hair grows all the way till chin and you cannot go like that you must go like that okay that's number 1 number 2 you will take water in your left hand and you will wash your right hand little bit above your elbow above your elbow from here all the way till tips all the way till tips like that all the way till tips like that you will wash okay and then you come into the uh, left hand so take a water on your right hand side throw it here and wash it again wash it little bit above elbow and make sure that it is completely washed all the way till the tips all the way till tips like that all right and then with the same wetness you have in your hand you will wipe on your forehead on your head as i just now told the brother head must be stable mustn't be moving you will make wiping masah like that you will start from here you will finish it before reaching to your forehead mustn't mix with this water just like that and then with the same wetness you will wipe your right hand like that right hand like that right foot like that and with the left hand 
you will wipe your left foot foot must be stable must not be moving hand must be moving that's it now your wuzu is complete no doing like that no washing of the feet we don't wash feet sunnis wash the feet we do not wash the feet we do not wipe the ears we only wipe head and we have wipe right foot and left foot simple that is wudu is that clear inshallah 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 yes brother if there is another question yes please yes you can but you must keep the intention in the start that i am making this wudu for the sake of pleasure of allah if this intention is there sufficient yes brother abdullah ha uh ha -huh. not repeat but should be in the mind yes yes then it is fine then it is okay if intention is there then it is fine then it's okay that is mustahab that's only recommended men like that ladies like that yes but must be from up down you see sunnis do like that not allowed in our case only from up right to down like that like that all the way till tip of the fingers yes like that make sure that yes all the way yeah that's correct that is correct okay shukran jazakumullah khair tomorrow of course as you know is a good friday